Well, this is going to be basically just about the landing gear. Well, actually, more specifically, the cranking of the landing gear. Now, again, I've had too many students in the past, and I've witnessed every single one of them kind of half doing it wrong and trying to figure it out for themselves until I step in, kind of uh, kind of show them what's going on. Now, it's... It's such a silly subject that doesn't, not wouldn't say silly, it's like, if you never watch this video, it's not, not as if you're going to be lost or anything. I just want to kind of like, you know, help you in figuring out the easiest possible way to do it. Okay, so uh, let's get with it, okay? Uh, this is a cranking land, landing handle, and every single uh, one that I've come across, anyway, there is two gears. All right, there's the low gear and uh, the high gear. Well, the high gear is uh, when when you rotate this, this little handle back here that you can barely see uh, will spin at the same rate. And when it's in low gear, it basically will take 10 times, 10 rotations t equal to one rotation in high gear. Okay, it's just, those are important because if you ever need to raise the trailer or lower the trailer, well, because it's at a wrong height, then you will need to be in low gear It'll just make it a lot easier. It's going to take a long time, which, but anyway. Okay, so let's play the video for a second. Uh, now, it can be, it can go in two, two directions. You, you don't actually know which way it's going to go because I've been, I've had every combination that there could be. All right. Now, in order to change gear, you're going to have to. Well, hold on a second. Let's. There we go. In order to change gear, you're going to have to figure out if this is going to be forward, out, or in. All right. Now we don't actually know that yet. All right. Let's go ahead and just start. There. Okay, this is out. All right. Now, most most of the times when it's all the way out, it's in low gear. All right. It's just that's most of the time. Now, you see this little part right here. All right. This fits in here. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just play it. Okay. See so you see the little. Uh, hold on. I actually slow that down so in slow motion, just so you could actually see it a little better. Now, when I push this all the way in, two things are happening. I'm going from low gear to high gear. And I'm putting the, the landing gear, or the, the handle, whatever, in to its little spot right here. There we go. All right. As you can see, this it's kind of like bowed out just a little bit. But currently, in this particular trailer, that is high gear. All right. Sometimes it won't be that case. So you can just, if you kind of hear noise like that, if you kind of hear that, uh, you hear that noise, you can tell that's high gear. So right now it's in low gear, now and, and it's, but it's not connected. So you're gonna have to kind of like finesse the, the the little bar into here because if you push it in too much, you're gonna go right back into high. All right. So see what I'm gonna do here? Kind of slowly putting it in, and now it's in low gear. Okay. High gear. Kind of hear the difference. All right. And uh, you can we're gonna be able to see the bar moving right now. As you can see, it's uh. It's going at the exact same speed. Again, this, I can imagine this video being very boring. But a lot of the time, what you can do, see what I just, see what I kind of just did there. I kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle because I felt nothing. That just basically, if you pull it out, give it a little wiggle like that, and uh, if you feel nothing, well, that's a low. So th then, you basically, your only other option is uh, pushing it all the way in. All right, but a little finesse right there. There we go. You can kind of hear. Okay, I'm sure if some of you guys who actually have crank landing gear before, you may have an injury from what I'm actually currently doing right now. See where I'm uh, rotating? I'm not using the handle right here. Okay. Um, if you are going to do that, I'm not going to say do do it or not do it. I'm just going to let you know that if you do it that way, the handle could come off here, and it could whack you in the knee, in the shin, the arm. It could whack you in the mouth if your face is close enough to it. Just know that if you are going to do that. Then again, this is the quickest and easiest way to do it, but of course your company will want you to uh, grab that handle and uh, crank it that way. That's what your company will want you to do because that is the safest way, but you're going to do whatever you want to do. Are, okay, so that's my disclaimer on, on that, okay? Just, okay? Anyway, so as you can see, I'm standing far back. I know what the repercussions are of this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've hit myself in this shin. Okay. Anywho. Again, take a list. Now it's all the way in. As you can see, it's going to again. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. The other direction. Now, you never actually know if it's clockwise or if it's uh, counterclockwise. Sometimes somebody might have written down on the trailer exactly what uh, what direction it is, but sometimes you're just going to have to uh, watch the... Uh, here, on. you got to watch... 
Uh, let me get to a part. You got to watch this part right here. Okay, when you're uh, when you're cranking the landing gear, don't look at the ground because sometimes you're, when you're cranking, nothing's happening. It's just well, if nothing's happening down here, is because all the weight is still being transferred to the fifth wheel. All right, instead of the landing gear. All right, so a lot of times you got to watch this particular part right here. If it's if if the, if it's going up, well, that's great. It's going up. All right, that means that the trailer's you know putting more weight onto the uh, under the fifth wheel. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, what am I doing there? Uh, okay, so da -da, we did that part. We did this part. Um, this is just basically rotating in each direction. Here, let's play the video. I made it for a reason. I made this like two years ago too. All right, so I wanted in high gear, so I'm gonna put it all the way in. And of course, this way, I'm gonna be, uh, so I'm, I'm retracting the landing gear by going counterclockwise. And of course, um, what's the, I'm putting the landing gear down. Is retracting and untracting? I should get my words together before I actually start making these videos. All right, stay with, stay to the end. This part's fun. This part's fun. Trust me. All right, this is just to kind of demonstrate uh, that this in low gear to put all the landing gear, landing gear all the way to the ground is a lot harder than if you haven't. Yeah, see that? This is basically sped up. You can see the landing gear is going at the exact same speed. This is only the 16, 17, 18, 19 turn. Look at, look at that go. Look at that go. <laughs> but anyway, okay, that's the, the landing gear. Uh, something that probably, well, I know your school probably won't teach it, but at least you get to rewatch this video over and over again. And anyway, okay, cool. Uh, that's it. I'm done with this video. Bye bye.